So have you tried playing back your videos after you have applied an effect and Premiere Pro starts, well, you know, freezing and stuff? This is due to many reasons. It mostly happens when you are actually doing heavy tasks like color correcting or grading or applying high input sterilized effects. And it's happening because your computer doesn't meet the minimum system requirements or is lacking certain resources such as your RAM, CPU or GPU. And it's totally normal because those kind of resources mean spending a lot of money on a high-end PC or laptop. So what your computer is basically doing is using the little CPU power it has to perform the calculation necessary to process and render those changes. Complex effects such as color grading, motion tracking or video stabilization rely heavily on the CPU's processing power. If your CPU is good, you can actually apply all those effects and hit the enter key to render the video. It's going to apply all those effects and give you a freeze-free playback session. It might take a while though, but here's the catch. Any other effect to apply to your video will need to be rendered again. Otherwise, your playback will start hooking and freezing. And the thing with rendering again is that it's going to suck a lot of time again, meaning you might not be able to meet the deadline for that project. Luckily, there's a solution for most problems. One way you can dodge freezing playbacks is to temporarily disable the real-time effect. By disabling real-time effects, Premiere Pro will bypass the processing required for those effects during playback, resulting in smoother performance. To do this, go to your project in Premiere Pro and navigate to the effect control panel. You can find it by selecting a clip on the timeline and clicking on the effect control tab. In the effect control panel, you see a list of applied effects for the selected clip. Look for the effects that are particularly resourceive intensive or causing playback issues. To disable the effect temporarily, click on the FX icon close to the effects name. This will disable the effects and allow you to preview your videos without it. Now this might not be the best way because most times you might want to play back your videos and at the same time seeing the effects you apply taking place. But with this method, it saves you a bunch of time and reduces your anxiety level. However, keep in mind that you only see the effects applied when you render or export the final video. So it's recommended to re-enable the effects before rendering the project to ensure the desired visual outcome. Other things you can do to ensure free-free playbacks and faster render is to close down unnecessary background applications. Shut down any other application running in the background to free up system resources. This may include graphic software, web browsers, file sharing programs, or any software that may be using significant CPU or memory. It's also advisable to update your editing software and drivers and adjust your project setting. It helps alleviate the strain on your system, ensuring smoother playback experience. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it valuable, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more amazing content like this one. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.